you there. So I've suffered from endometriosis for, well, it's my early 20s. Of, uh, I started really suffering with pain. So I'm 47 now. So that's in excess of 27 years. Um, didn't get diagnosed officially until I was 37. So I'd already been suffering for 17 years by that point. Um, three horrific rounds of IVF. Uh, pain, horrendous symptoms, um, bleeding, bloating, uh, you know, social isolation, depression. Um, well, I spent years just being, um, I'm not going to say not believed, but um, just feeling like I was almost making things up, making the pain up, making the, the, the symptoms up. Um, I got so fed up of people saying, oh, how are you, Marie? And I'd just be like, you don't want to know. There's no point me even telling you because it's it's worse than it was last month or this time it's, it's you know, 10 times worse than it was. And I'd have the surgeries and they didn't help. They just made things worse. And to come into this group, I didn't expect to get this upset. I'm so sorry. I, I was so despondent when I joined. Um, because I'd had years of being not believed, not listened to, um, and you know, just the continual trips to the doctors with you know a five to ten minute consultation, um, and just being made to feel like a body part IVF. I felt like a scientific experiment. There's no two ways about it, and to put myself through three rounds of that had a devastating um, effect. Yeah. Well, I did I physically became invisible? I'd cut off from friends, I stopped socialising, um, I'd turn up for work, um, but my sickness record was horrendous. Um, and since, oh, it's so, <laughs> I got off the, on, the, on the emotional front, but it's, I've not had a day off sick in a year now from work. Um, not one day and before my sickness record was, every month I would be off work sick with either a migraine or bleeding, uh, or just, pain so bad that I, I wouldn't be able to leave the house um so it affected every part of my life it wasn't you know my relationships were affected my friendships were affected my self-esteem was affected um the fire. it really is it's yeah. I got to the point where I had to get angry and I had to get I got to the point where I just thought is this it is this going to be my life for the next 10-15 years if it is I, I don't want to go on I can't go on living like I am and I had something that was the, the, the switch something had to change and I knew that what I'd been doing hadn't been working um, then in about 2018 I had a cyst flare up I'd had a bit of a lapse of my regime that I'd implemented um, went back to the doctors they tried to put me on drugs again and I just thought no not doing that anymore I know now that it's not good for me um, and so I reached out to Wendy, um, did her foundation program, uh, the 21 day challenge, and then the advanced program. And I've now um, just completed my 12 week, uh, tw sorry, six months training as, a, as an endo boss coach. Um, and it's been an amazing experience. So the main reason I've done this is because I want to support women with endometriosis. I want to, get the word out there I want to help the community grow and learn that you can change the course you don't have to stick with what you've done because it's what you've always done there is a different way of doing things oh, it's very much the theory um, and me understanding my core values my beliefs um, really getting in touch with my feelings because it's very easy when you've been subjected to the the treatment a lot of women have been over the years that they just stop listening to themselves the disconnect is it's huge you know it's so seismic because you just you just stop thing and the, the the second part of the course was so much more practical it, it, it's all the it's all the practical stuff you're getting feedback on your calls um you're doing yourself appraisals uh you're writing your case studies so it's a lot more really focusing on the practical element and the actual art of coaching. Really, really loads of information, um, loads of handout, lots of very visual stuff as well, which I personally really enjoy because I'm a very visual person and I learn by doing things rather than sitting and reading. But Wendy's um, webinars are 
there's obviously a bit of everything in there for you. So there's obviously the theory, the practical, the visual, um, and it's the audio obviously as well, of course. So it's all the senses kind of appeal to the way it's delivered, which for me was just brilliant. So my idea of coaching had come from our sessions um, and I really loved the return to self on a lot of the, the questions. So it's, how did you feel? How did that make you feel? Where did you feel it? Um, and it really makes you think, it makes you stop thinking and actually listen to yourself. Uh, so for me, the, the, the reflection, the reminding, the reassurance actually as well um, was paramount to, to my progression in this because if things had slipped back, I wouldn't be being authentic. Um, we kind of put the embracing emotions term onto the coaching, um, then I, I, that really was the click that I needed. Um, if I was just self-appraising myself, I'd be, I don't, I wouldn't be at the stage I'm at now. It, it, it's that simple, and it was quick as well because the feedback was consistent and regular. For me, it's been learning what I'm capable of because I probably underestimate myself a lot. You know, women with endometriosis, especially, I think. We, ca we carry on with life, we push ourselves forward, um, but it's always with that payoff of being in pain and suffering and perhaps not being valued um, or feeling that we're valued. Or um, And what I've learned through this process is that I need to have high expectations of myself and that I can meet them, I can listen in and really instinctively feel what's right for me. Um, my, listening to my own instincts for sure because I just I was full of self-doubt um, prior to doing this course um, my listening skills have improved you know we learn to read and write in school but we don't actually learn to listen properly and it's the impact that has on every part of my life like I say has been been huge um, this group of women who just get you they pull you in like a great big hug um, and just let you be they just let they understand what you've been through a lot of them had to have had surgeries as well or IVF treatments that have failed and um, to be just heard is the best feeling I think I've, I've had since I got diagnosed and then to be able to sit here now a year on with not having a sick day in a year. I socialise again. I know lockdown's obviously affected that to a degree, but I can go out when people ask me how, I don't even need to ask how I am because I look, people say, oh my God, you look healthy and well. And, you know, just to hear that, just is, you can't put, put, you cannot put a price on that feeling. It's just incredible because I am the only one that knows. They don't. And it's to be heard, believed, understood, more importantly than anything it was the understanding I got from Wendy and the team that really was the, the difference for me but I'm the most content I've ever been and because I can see the changes it's I can see the impact it's having and the more I do it the better I feel because it's it just reinforces that what I'm doing is the right path thank you so much for the opportunity again um, I really am so desperate to get this message out. Um, um, Wendy is trustworthy. She's an amazing coach. She's got so much experience. Um, you know, she's come through it herself and, you know, been in a really bad place with it. So you will be met with nothing but love and support from the Endo Boss team. Yes, I've invested money, but I'm investing in me, which is something I haven't done for years. And it's, it's just the best thing I've ever done. To, to see the growth I've seen with the women I'm already working with is phenomenal. Can't even imagine where I'm going to be in another year's time, especially with the health practitioner training coming up as well, so that even people that haven't got endo can help support women that have. Um, it's just wonderful. It's just a, an incredible thing to be part of. Just listen to your gut as well, I'll say. And if this feels right and sounds right, then don't hesitate.